Okay, so I've been knitting and it's about to do the rib area. One knit, one purl. So I'm measuring. Okay, it's a little bit tough due to the wire. So it's uh, 12 inches. And so I'm going to be knitting the ribs another two inches and I will bind off. Okay, so what we're going to do is I switched to a, a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some decreases. Okay, before I do that, I just wanted to show you. I did another decrease here, right here. See, I made a pearl, so I need to fix that. And then I'm going to try to make a decrease right here. Okay, so that would be equal to that. Okay, so my decreases, I'm going to start doing one knit, one purl. Okay, it looks like I lost a stitch there. Let me just grab it. And I start it from the front. This was a 5.5, this is a 4.5. It's better to switch to smaller needles if you're knitting for a small size medium size. Uh, I don't switch when it's large, extra large, because we need that room. Okay, so I am knitting one knit, one purl. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And starting from here, so let's count two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, this is the button, button band area. Can you see? It looks like I lost one of the... just saw that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that. Unfortunately, I can't continue because I saw it. I will do that right away. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. It happens because I'm knitting with two strands and it happens a lot. It's better to catch it before you bind off. Okay. Oh, you need a crochet hook to, you need a tool like this, like a hook to pick it up. And, uh, great, the other stitches fell off. I need to get those uh, stitch grabbers. I bought those uh, old ones, but they're useless. It keeps on falling off. Okay, so let me just hold this this way. So here it is. Now this is how you fix it. I get this question a lot. <laughs> okay. And this is all you do. And it's fixed. It's an easy fix. See? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, from now we're going to count ten stitches. So one knit, one purl, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of two stitches. I need to do some decrease because this is a small size. Okay, this is what I do for extra small, small, and medium sizes. Okay, these three stitches I get rid of because it's a pearl. And I start continuing it. Pearl, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's okay, but I need to do it in a pearl, so nine is okay, and I get rid of three. Then I continue. 
one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It can be ten or eleven or nine. Okay, so okay, here I want to get rid of a stitch. Okay. It's five, that's okay. I need to fix this one because it's a pearl. So what I'm going to do is just fix the stitch so we won't twist it. I'm going to knit these three together but there's five that's okay no problem at all I just want to match this under arm so get rid of three stitches and I just continue knitting okay so I'm going to continue knitting this is all I'm going to do and when I come to the end you can just play around with it but it has to be so this is a pearl it has to be a knit pearl knit so don't miss this part it has to be equal or let me just come all the way to the end and uh, just give you an idea. Okay, and then uh, the underarm, I want it. So when I come here, I'll show you again. Because I want to match it right under the underarm to do the decrease. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm almost at the underarm, which is right here. I did my decrease here. So I'm going to make another decrease right under the arm, underarm. So knit pearl knit just checking okay so I am going to knit three together purl it just like this I got rid of another one I know it's very close but I had no other choice but that's okay so I'm going to continue knitting if you don't want to make it this close, just ignore this one and then get rid of this one. You need to have one under, under the arm. It, it just shapes it better. Okay, so knit, purl, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, three together. Just like this. And then continue two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm just going to check. I can get rid of a, another two. So knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Let's see if this is gonna work. Sometimes I get rid of two, depending depending on how it goes. Sometimes I get, well, usually I get rid of three, but yeah. Uh, so we start with knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just checking. This is the tenth. Okay, I can if I do purl three, so it would be knit, purl, knit three, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Okay, we're okay. So it goes with the rhythm. <laughs> And I did only two rows, two rows of a uh, short row here. Let me just finish this and show it to you. Okay, we're done. So I am going to knit two more rows and I will come back to show you how to bind off. 
I do have a separate video for that if you want to go and check it. I'm just going to get rid of this needle. Okay, so when I put it down, let me just show you so you will get the idea. I'm just checking if there's any loose ends. It's handmade. Okay, see what I mean? See, when I lay it down, the, this part doesn't... Uh, this part is not longer than this. I noticed it's this and I figured out how to do uh, short rows and how to fix that problem. Even those the two rows that did the job. But another thing, I did knit on the back. Remember, I did the two inches. So that even fixed, fixed it. So, but it's uh, way better to show it on the mannequin. Uh, it's night after midnight at the moment so when I get up I will uh, put it on the mannequin and I will uh, show it to you but before I do that uh, I will come I will finish the rib like knit, knit one pearl for two inches well actually it's going to be more than two inches and I will come back to show you how to do the bind off just even a couple of uh, bind off will work and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, so I've been knitting and uh, I have knit two inches. Perfect. It's about 10 rows. And on the 11th, I'm just gonna bind off. So I'm gonna use the needle technique. I call it the needle technique, but um, the only thing I don't like about is the yarn. Sometimes I don't have enough yarn and I have to add more. So that's another thing. And you can't make this long enough because the yarn gets weared off because every time I stitch over. So I'm just going to see. I'm just going to measure this randomly here. And, and I don't want it long enough. That's my thing. What I do is I usually do double. And then I just cut the yarn. And you need, you need a tapestry needle for this technique. I already have a tutorial. I uh, posted a couple of years ago. But I think it was blurry. I, don't, I didn't like the quality of it. So I'm just going to redo it and uh, show you. Yeah, I had the Canon camera then, but unfortunately, for some reason, see, I just tap this on the glass, and uh, you get rid of. I get rid of the blurry. But the only thing I don't like about is the background; it gets blurry. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. These cameras are really technical things that which I don't know much. Okay, so uh, I usually do it on the front of the work, the knit area, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's this is pure white, so I put a, a darker background compared to the one that I used earlier. So I'm gonna start. Okay, so I'm just looking. This is a purl stitch. This is a knit stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a purl which I'm going to pull it like this and then for the uh, purl stitch I'm going to come from here and I'm going to pull so it's like a knit stitch so I'm doing the opposite and I'm going to let this go okay and then I'm going to come from here this is a purl stitch I'm going to pull it in the middle, just between these two stitches. I think this is also called Italian bind off. I'm not quite sure. I'm not good with names. I do apologize. So I just call this the needle bind off, tapestry needle bind off. And I go between. We usually do two, but at the beginning I didn't do two. Okay, and then here, 
just going to pull it by this way. Okay, and then pull it. Okay. So here's the knit stitch. I'm going to pull it like doing a purl stitch. And then come here and then make it like a knit stitch. I think I did this one wrong, but that's okay. Okay, so again. And go between. And then make this like a pearl stitch. And then I let it go. And then automatically you will see how it's becoming. So again, like a pearl stitch, go between. And then come from here. Like a pearl stitch. I think I did it wrong. Oh, well. Yeah, I did that one wrong. So I can go back and fix that. Oh, between the tripod. Got tangled here. Got between the tripod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back because I did it wrong. You go back yeah I don't like this one but that's okay And you just repeat it until you go all the way to the end. The camera's in front of me. It's a little bit awkward. But uh, what can I do? Okay. And then you just continue all the way to the end. don't like this one, but that's okay. What else can you do? I think I made a mistake there. Oh, well. I can see it. <laughs> and then it gives you this nice finished look. Okay, so again, it's a knit stitch. And then you do the same thing on this one. You let it go and then come back, pull, and go between again. So we do it two times, like I said. Then come back, and then let that go, and then you pull.
pulled. And you repeat it. So here's one. Come back and you do the same thing on this one. And then you let it go. And then you go back. Go back in between and go through. Second stitch and go between. And then you come back like to knit. So I'm just repeating. Okay, here, I'll show you one more time. So the knit stitch is like the purl. So I come between, so to the second stitch. And I come back with the first stitch and I do the same curl and then let the first stitch go okay and then you come back to the second stitch but in between in between the space and you pull and then you go this is a purl stitch as if to knit and then you pull and you do the same thing on the first stitch and then you let it go and when you let it go you pull it like this see tubular bind off method italian bind off method i call this the tapestry bind off method whichever you like to call so i hope you like this tutorial um I'm going to come back. This is part three for part four. I'm going to start the sleeves and then we'll go from there. So you just go all the way to the end. It's nothing, nothing. And how we started, you finish it. You finish it. It's super easy. Let's say this is the last stitch. Okay, let's say this is the last stitch. So this is how I do it. Okay. Let's see, that's the last stitch. I'm at the end and I come to the first stitch and I let this go. Okay, there's no other stitch left. So what I do is I would go from the back and then let this stitch go. So I would go from the back and then what I would do is I would let this go, okay? So what you, we usually do is we do this technique, but there would be no stitches. So what I would do is I would go from here and I would let this go. And this would be the last stitch to finish it up. Okay, so I use that same technique. I hope I'm clear enough. You can pause it and go back to watch it. But just to repeat over and over until you finish it. And it gives you this nice elasticity. See? I usually do this on my socks when I'm knitting from toe up. So I'll meet you on part four. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye. So I'll meet you on part four. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.